After spending their entire savings and doing weeks of grueling work, Derek and Nissa finally felt like their renovation was complete. But after a closer look at the dismal state of their porch, in a real heart-to-heart, -heart, to get it done becomes a home. The couple has decided to build a new porch and landscape the front yard. They just got approved for a small loan, and now it's time to get to work. Yeah, it's all falling apart anyway. It's like, it's like it was held on by glue. Good sturdy deck, huh? Yeah. Perfect. This is going to hold the, it temporarily. We're going to take this out and we're going to replace it. Well, we're not taking the post entirely down. What we're going to do is to the bottom of these beams, we're going to take it down to the bottom of them and then I'm going to pour some new concrete around them and then we'll build a wood post from there up. This thing wasn't safe at all, huh? No, there was nothing holding it there but gravity, really. We took the old post down, right? Mm -hmm. So I formed it with yep. wood, and we're gonna fill all that in with concrete to give us a nice, good, solid base to start off. Am I doing this right? Not really, <laughs> but it's kind of fun to watch. Something like this. Ah. I put a little form here, that'll come out after, and the post will sit down in that little pocket I made, just so it doesn't slip out. Yeah, how do you know that there's not gonna be like air pockets in there or something? That's what the tapping's for. Yeah. I wanna get something that's like, like those, I, am, I kinda wanna say they're like an English garden. Oh, like, like a topiary. Sure. I'm excited for my part of the front porch and landscaping. I get to make things fancy. They're like the accessories for an outfit. Vincenzo spent $3,000 on the porch, $3,500 on flagstone and rock. If we want to come in at $8,000 for the whole front of the house, that leaves me $1,500 for a new door, plants, patio furniture, a mailbox, and house numbers. Derek is always complaining about the backyard and how much work he has to do, so I promised, promised, promised him that our landscaping would be very simple. I'd like to lower the maintenance up the class. I don't know a whole lot about landscaping, but since we're just buying ground cover and small plants, I did a little bit of research and I think we'll be okay. It'd be great to give your garden some height. Mm-hmm. And these are great for height. I like this top. one. Ornamental grasses are great, or fancy grass as they're called. They provide a lot of height as well as a lot of movement in a garden. So we could probably do something like this towards the porch area. Okay. And then do something lower in front of it, and then do something even lower in front of that. So maybe this, maybe like some hostas, and then maybe some ground cover. Okay, I like that, okay. Nessa wants to do it all green, but I think we should throw in just a pop of red. It's gonna be great to tie in with the color of the brick. So I'm gonna say uh, 97 and 5 eighths. 97 and 5 eighths, it's a good number. That's it. Put yours into that groove. Yep. Already better than it was before, because it, yeah, when it first bought the house, it was sinking sorry. a little bit, you could tell. You can already tell it's a little bit more straight edge. Yep. Now that the, uh, the structural is taken care of, all we have to do now is basically uh, dress it up. That consists of putting some new decking down, and building some railings, and really just, just prettying up the posts, making them look the way we want them to. I'm gonna measure from the, the brick yep. out, to set our front face. Because if you just follow this, it might not be straight, so right. it'll look funny. So I like to set two points and you run a string and then you measure everything to that string. That way you have a perfectly straight line. Okay. What I've picked for Vanessa and Derek for their decking is a simple tongue and groove pine. Uh, it's, it's a standard thing you would use for a porch. So we take some measurements, we square it to the building, you nail your first board down, and then you just continue banging them on with a hammer and a block and nailing them down until you fill the porch up. Ground cover is really easy and it's perfect because if we're doing stonework, it'll fit all between the stone and it'll grow really big. Oh. It's also extremely low maintenance. How much does one pot get us? We usually buy a little pot like this and it'll cover over time about a like six to 12 inch little square. Like this is a bright green and this is a dark green. Can you have both greens together? 
I think having a little bit of variety in texture and in color is good. So for example, you'd probably do something like this guy with that. That'll work really well with the ornamental grass, and, but I really want to make sure that we get your tree. Let's pick out a cool tree for you. Let's do it, let's find a tree. So here's some options for trees. I like this one. Mm -hmm. What do you think the layout would be? I picture it two pots on either side of the stairs entering the house. Okay. I agree. I think that would look good. Because otherwise it would be too far apart if it was on exactly. the side of the court. See, I think something like this little tree would be cute because it would have a cute, like, um, pot that we could put it in. Yep. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I've seen them a lot. Mm -hmm. I would be more inclined to do something a little bit round but then put it in a very modern pot, maybe something in a really high gloss white lacquer. What about this plant? I think I like that even better. It has a little bit more youthful of a tone than the cedar. That's like the most important thing for me is that like when you first walk into the house, like when you first see, drive up to the house, yeah. I want whatever's there to represent what you're gonna experience on the inside, which is modern and yet really fun. Okay, perfect. Vincenzo's gonna rebuild the post that we have and build another one for symmetry. I tried to design to kind of match the era of the home. We figured the home's 80 to 100 years old, right? Back then it probably would have had a lot of paneling and, and lots of fancy molding. We're gonna take this one by five pine. You're gonna take the two pieces and put them so that the backs touch, and then we're gonna put a piece of doweling in there. Vincenzo's actually quite a craftsman. He came up with something that would give us quite a period look on our two posts. When I built the deck, I mean, I really didn't know what I was doing. Your marks correspond with mine. It was quite an ordeal, but this time I'm really confident with everything that we're doing. So now we put in the decorative piece? Yeah, we'll put the decorative piece in. The other side's exactly the same, so if you think you can handle that. Yeah, totally, I can do it. I'm gonna get started on the stonework. Great. Next, on Marriage Under Construction. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Even though the reason that we're using mostly rocks is because I'm lazy, it's actually gonna look good.